State investigators say the tail of the tape just might clear agents of any wrongdoing in the raid of the Tallahassee home of that former Department of Health worker. Hello and good evening. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement released the body cam video to cast doubt on claims made by the homeowner that agents pointed a gun at her children. Seven's Kevin Ozebeck has this. He's live in the Newsplex. Kevin. And Craig and Belke is after a Monday morning raid. We now have a nearly week long he said, she said. Former Florida Department of Health employee Rebecca Jones says state officers pointed guns at her children during the raid. Today, though, the FDLE is releasing this video. Do not point that gun at my children. He just pointed a gun at my children. Now, even though we hear Jones yelling at the officers to not point their guns at her children, we do not actually see the officers pointing their guns. But this video here is just one view of the situation as it all unfolded. We can't see every angle here. Now, earlier this week, Jones released this security camera video from her camera in which you see FDLE officers performing their search warrant. Agents do have their guns drawn, but again, we do not see them pointing their weapons at any children from this vantage point either. Now, Jones says she was fired from the health department this year because she says she refused to manipulate COVID-19 data. This week, state police searched her home as part of an investigation into unauthorized access into a state messaging system. FDLE's commissioner says, quote, I am proud of the way these agents performed. I can only hope those same individuals who criticize these public safety heroes will now apologize and condemn the actions of Miss Jones. The media should also demand Miss Jones release the entirety of the video she recorded while agents were present in her home, end quote. Now, the commissioner also says any danger to Jones's children came from her actions, not the actions of his officers. Meanwhile, Jones maintains she has not tried to hack into any state messaging system. Live in the Newsplex, Kevin Ozebeck, 7 News.